Hey, and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about key paths and higher order functions in Swift. So let's begin with taking a look at some actual piece of data. So here I have an array of integers, and let's say that I want to take these integers and turn them into strings. So one way to do this in Swift is to use the function map. So I'm going to implement it. So I'm going to take my array, I call map on it, I give map an argument which is a closure where I implement my transform from an integer to a string, and the way that I do it is that I'm just going to call description on the integers. So that's it. Now I am able to turn the integers into string. And this syntax, we are all familiar with it in Swift. However, maybe we feel that it could be improved a little bit because it feels kind of low level with its curly braces and dollar zero argument. So how could we improve it? Well, a surprising way to do it is to actually use a key path. So instead of giving map a closure, what I can do is give it a key path of the property description. And this code works, it builds, and it performs the exact same job than the map I had before where it was given a closure. So it might seem very weird. Let's understand what the compiler is doing behind the scene for us. So if you are familiar with key path, you know that a key path is a generic type with two generic arguments. So the first one is called the root. It's the type on instances of which we will invoke the key path. So here it's integer. And then there is the value, which is the type of the property that the key path refers to. So here, it's a string. And what the compiler is doing for us here is that it's taking this key path and it's turning it into a function with the following signature. So a function that takes as an argument a root and that returns a value. And now everything is much more clear because this function signature is exactly what map expects as its input. So this is what the compiler is doing for free for us here. Thank you.